Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking the new icons that were released today. We got all three versions of the 11 so far released new icons in FIFA 21. We got those versions today. I don't actually know if they were supposed to be released because EA put some tweets out and I think they deleted them. And it honestly felt like today, whoever had these ratings, whoever was posting these tweets uh, on, on social media websites was early and they weren't actually supposed to be putting all of these ratings out today. But we did get a lot of ratings confirmed. We got to see a lot of the mid, the baby, and the prime versions of multiple icons today. And I wanna talk you through some of the price predictions that I have for these because I wanna relate what these cards you're seeing and kind of relate them to how they might be priced on the foot market in the first, you know, a couple of months, if you, maybe it's your goal to get Cantona or to get Puskas or Eto in your squad, I want to try to get you a ballpark range of what those cards might be pricing. Um, because uh, obviously we have a different meta every year in FIFA. Icons are very rare and they're hard to pack. And we don't still, we aren't confirmed whether or not it's going to be just prime, just babies and middle icons in packs right away, or if we're going to have all three versions in packs right away. Nothing on that note is confirmed, but I'm going to be going based off of what happened last year with the babies and middles being in packs right away. I think that's going to happen again personally, but we'll see. So let's take it from the top. The King, Eric Cantona, with some pretty decent looking cards right here. If you look at his statistics, a lot of high 80s and a lot of 90s. He has over 90 physical on all three of his items. And obviously, if you kind of compare, one thing that I was doing was just a little bit ago, I was comparing this new set of icons, these 11 new icons right here. I was comparing it to last year's new set. And I was kind of thinking, I feel like last year's new set might have had a little bit more hype than this year's. I mean, Zidane, he's bigger than Cantona. Drogba, I would say, I would almost argue that he's bigger than Fernando Torres or right on that level with him. Uh, you know, other big names that are in here, Pep Guardiola is a big name, kind of for the manager sense. Dalglish, Essien, Zambrata. I mean, they're Pirlo. How could I forget about Pirlo? Uh, there, there's some big names in here. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some big names that are being released this year as well. Ashley Cole, Eto. But a lot of these FIFA 21 icons that are getting released are more, you know, they have a little bit more FIFA uh, hype to them. Eto for his, his past cards in earlier FIFA. Same, same thing with Fernando Torres, with Lam, especially Schweinsteiger, um, even Suker having an icon card when they were legends back in the earlier days on the Xbox. Uh, actually Cole with some special cards in FIFA. Now we're getting to a stage of the game where a lot of these icons have actually been in FIFA before. Whereas, you know, some of these other guys from the pr previous years may not have been. So that's just kind of something to kind of talk about a little bit. A lot of these guys were in previous foots too, but not as many as I feel like we're getting now with the new icons that are getting released. Just that's how time is going because time is continuing to pass. So speaking of Cantona, who I don't believe has ever, ever had a foot card before. I could be wrong on that one, uh, but I don't think he's had a foot card item before. Uh, Baby rated 88 center forward. These are all center forward cards. So you're going to see French center forward uh, when you start to pack one of these this year. Uh, the big thing with Cantona is going to be his dribbling statistics. I feel like this guy is going to be kind of clunky in game. And I feel like he's going to be very similar to what this Zidane card was last year with, except being a little bit more attacking. Now, in terms of a price for like the baby or for the middle Cantona, I'm honestly feeling somewhere around like the 1.7 to 2.5 mil range early on in the first couple months, uh, for, for the baby version and then maybe for the middle we go a, a little bit higher it probably just depends uh on how people value that pace right because he's got a minus two pace from the baby to the middle a bit higher in the shot a bit higher a bit higher everywhere else but the pace is higher on the baby so i feel like the baby in the middle will be right around the same price somewhere around the two million coin range is where i would feel cantana goes off the bat going through Javi. I'm not even going to spend a lot of time talking about Javi. This is a sick card. It's really dope, but this is basically Pirlo 2.0 from last year. Uh, and I don't think this card's ever going to get really over. Like maybe his prime card starts out at a million coins day one, but I don't feel like any of these versions are going to be over a million coins at all. Uh, during foot. He's not going to be that expensive just because he doesn't fit the meta, right? This prime card is the closest thing to fitting the meta. The baby is okay with 81 pace. 
Um, but I don't think a, a card like this just really doesn't fit into the FIFA scheme yet. Maybe it does this year in FIFA 21. We shall see. Vidic, this is an interesting one because this is almost a mirror replica of Rio Ferdinand, 85, 88, and 90. Same ratings as Rio, and we have the same thing going on with the baby middle and prime. Baby card, 77 pace. Then we go to the middle, 70 pace. This baby is going to be definitely more expensive than the 88 center back middle version because of the pace and pace alone, plus seven pace above that middle. Even though the defense and physical are lower, they're still high enough to make this card probably gonna be somewhere around the 500, 600K range. Um, maybe probably the 500, 600K range. I would expect Rio here. You can see it was like 600 to 700K. I would expect Vidic to be a little bit cheaper than Rio just because he doesn't have those English links. I know he's an icon. He gets chemistry to everybody. But I think Rio has a little bit more hype than what Vidic uh, would have in FIFA per se. Uh, so I would expect this to be like a 500, 600K guard right out of the bat. Not a bad center back though at all. One thing I will mention with all of these cards today, and I'm going to mention it a few times as I go throughout this, especially with Cantona, whatever they give them for work rates and skill move and weak foot, that matters a ton for these cards. Because as we're going to talk about in some of these later icons, a lot of these cards have had three-star weak foots in the past. And if they have a three-star weak foot, that's not going to draw a lot of hype to them. Schweinsteiger, again, is probably going to be one of those icons who has a little bit of hype at the beginning, but then just isn't going to be that usable for the rest of the game. I would not expect these cards to be going for more than, you know, 500, 600,000 coins at max, honestly, uh, as a holding price for most of the year, just because he just doesn't fit the meta once again, which is a bit unfortunate. This The left mid card's kind of cool. The prime, I feel like, will be the most used out of all of these. Maybe the left mid uh, would be used earlier on because of the, uh, he's got a lot less in the defensive uh, category, but maybe as like a box-to-box a, a -box midfielder, position change in game. He could be pretty solid right there. Uh, moving on to the next set. Petr Cech, he's a goalkeeper. Enough said. Only two versions with the helmet, though. The bet, the prime Petr Cech better have a helmet, man. All right, we have the helmet, we have the hat, and it looks like we have one version without a helmet, so hopefully that prime moments check does have the helmet. We'll see. Ashley Cole, again, probably not going to be that expensive as well. Another left back added to the mix. It's nice to have these English links on the left side. Um, you know, maybe Marcus Rashford gets some special left mid versions this year or some other um, midfielders from the English nationality. You get some solid links with this card. Uh, I feel like he got kind of hard done by with his ratings. Again, the baby card is going to be useful because that 91 pace, but the prime again is, is where I think his best version is in terms of pace and then just all around play. I don't expect this card to be more than just like two, 300,000 coins to be completely honest with you. Maybe a little bit more at the start. Uh, unless he becomes super duper meta, I don't expect him to be very uh, be pricey in this game by any means. Suker uh, is a very interesting one. This one for me just fits into a role on FIFA where there's already so many icons that have this sort of build, right? Probably going to be four star, four star, which is good. But he, I feel like he's just going to kind of be one of those middle of the pack, just okay icon strikers that maybe his prime version as the 90 rated which honestly if i'm picking a version out of any of these i like the middle it's got the 86 pace the pace is basically the same on all these the shot is basically the same these cards are almost identical across the board so you know i would expect this guy to be around a million coins to start off with new icon croatian links is kind of interesting it's our first ever or it's our first croatian or only croatian uh icon that'll be in the game Probably around a million coins just because he's a striker and he's an attacker, but then dropping off after that. Um, just because, again, this one depends on the weak foot and the skill moves for sure. Hopefully, he's four star, four star. Um, that would make him usable. Uh, and hopefully, that dribbling and the agility balances can be a bit higher on some of these. That would help him a lot as well. But I don't think he's super duper hyped in terms of a lot of people wanting to go after him. Here's a striker that might have a little bit more hype. I would compare this guy to. Drogba. Now, this would be more of a Drogba comparison for me in terms of, you know, the, the player that Drogba was in FIFA. He was four-star, four-star. I was looking back at some of the old special cards for some of these guys. Fernando Torres was a three-star skill, four-star weak foot player for a long time. Uh, I think FIFA 13, he had a man of the match and he was four-star, four-star back in some of the older FIFAs. 
So I would go to uh, assume, and honestly, there's one special card that I saw. Yes, right here. This card, if you look at Fernando Torres' dynamic, dynamic image on this, uh, this Man of the Match Euros card, it's almost the exact same as his prime. So like that is almost the exact same image with the headband and with the hair parted in the middle and slit. Uh, I feel like this card should be four star, four star. And if they do that, they'll make all of them four star, four star, I believe. That would be good. The baby Fernando Torres to me looks almost unusable. I don't think he's gonna get used that much, even as a four star, four star as an icon. I mean, Anthony Martial's card is better than that. And he's gonna be a, a rare gold 84 rated. That's gonna be a discard icon very soon. Then we get to the middle card. This one's going to be interesting because, again, I kind of compared him to Drogba, but I feel like he has a bit more hype than Drogba with more pace and better shot. Like, this is just going to be a finisher around the box. He's got over 90 pace where Drogba doesn't. Drogba was still 1.5 million coins early on. I feel like that's a, a decent range for Fernando Torres, somewhere between, like, 1.34, maybe 1.5, closer to 2 mil a little bit. As we maybe the market does rise a little bit towards Black Friday or Christmas time. Uh, but then when the Prime comes out, this one I think will be the, the card that a lot of people do want to go for. And I think it'll be closer to the upper range of maybe around 2 mil to start off with, but then dropping down a little bit after that. But again, he's got to be 4 star, 4 star if it's going to be a usable icon in Fernando Torres. Let's move on to the last three because these are the ones where we have a lot of things to talk about. Puskas. This is going to be the most expensive icon in this set of new cards and i'm telling you right now this guy is going to be meta he's going to be overpowered he's going to be very very good in fifa ultimate team why you might ask all right so when i see this card i think of cruyff right and we go and look at cruyff cruyff has some similar stats to this if we look at all of his versions right he's got the 90 dribbling his agility balance is pretty high the balance is actually kind of low on cruyff cruyff is expensive though because he has the five star five star and you look at his cards throughout the year his baby started at 1.7 and really fit the meta this year went up to 2.8 mil in the course of the year when this card was in packs and then he went out of packs came down for team of the year and then went back up and was expensive until team of the season right i think this baby puskas card 89 rated he's going to follow a lot of similar trends as cruyff if he has the five star five star I see him being very similarly priced to Cruyff, probably around, you know, the 1.5 to 2 mil range earlier on, maybe even rising higher above that as we get into the game and people figure out he's meta. But again, I, I stress, he's got to have a five-star weak foot and four-star skills at least to be very, very OP and very meta. If he is four-star, four-star, I guess it's possible that he could be meta, but that five-star weak foot is huge, especially for the elite tier meta cards in this game. Uh, and I just feel that this guy with his player build is going to be very meta. Puskas is a Puskas is a five foot eight, right? That is perfect for another meta icon that we saw last year that really exploded onto the scene. Dalglish, right? Dalglish, I think it's like five nine or five eight as well. He might even be shorter than that. I think Butragueno is five six. That's the the short guy I'm getting confused with. But with this Puskas card, if the meta is the same in FIFA 20 one that it was in fifa 20 which i think that it's going to be similar to of course with you know less time covid you know the stuff that they've been doing with fifa 21 and what it looks like still the the same meta is going to apply in some sense i still think this puskas card is going to be very very op with that baby card having the 90 pace does it have a little bit more you know maybe hype then the middle card, the middle card with a plus five passing is big, plus four physical. So that's pretty big um, and only 89 pace. If this middle card had 90 pace as well, that'd be crazy. Uh, but I think the baby and middle are going to be pretty much closely priced. Kind of like Cruyff's baby and middle. I think the middle Cruyff was maybe a little bit more expensive than the baby. Yeah, he's about 300,000 coins more expensive than the baby uh, start of the game. And I feel like that would be the case here just because you'd be paying for a shot upgrade and a pass upgrade because this guy would be a great center forward or center attacking mid. But I think this guy's going to be kind of expensive, man. I think he's going to be close to 2 million coins off the rip, possibly rising to even more if people do, do realize that he's super meta and if he does actually become really meta this year. All right, let's move on to arguably... I would say the number one most hyped up and the card that has the most hype and the one that people want to know about the most, that is Samuel Eto'o. How much is Samuel Eto'o going to cost? You're going to be playing with this baby version. I'm telling you that right now. That is the version that everybody is going to want to use. And again, 
just like we looked at in times past, what was Eto in years past in terms of skill moves and weak foot? Four star skills in, in years past and a three star weak foot. And even if we go back to like the FIFA 12 days, he was still there with a four star, four star. We need EA Sports, I beg. This card has to be four star weak foot, four star skills in order for it to be good and in order for it to be usable in FIFA Ultimate Team. It has to be. If this is not four star, four star, that's going to be a big disappointment for a lot of people. I love the dynamic image on this middle Eto. I think it's the best image out of all three cards, but I think the baby is going to get used the most. And this kind of reminds me of like a baby Butragueno type situation right here. Now, I know Butra only has the three star skills. He's got the five star weak foot. He's five foot six. Um, and I know that Eto is five foot 11. But I think this Eto card is going to be pretty good this year. I just feel like he doesn't have the highest physical. He got, he's got the pace though, and he's got the hype. And I feel like his player build just might be meta enough. Even though he's not super duper short, I feel like he should be able to turn pretty quickly on the ball. Maybe if I can find some in-game stats for this Eto right here with 92 dribbling. What were his... He had 90 agility and 86 balance. So that bodes well for an icon card of Eto with 86 dribbling. I would expect high 80s agility, high 80s balance to start off the year. And then with the prime card, definitely getting into the 90s with both of those stats. Hopefully... Uh, this card has four star, four star, and Eto is probably going to be around the price range. In my opinion, I think this guy is going to be around like the 1.5 mil range at the very most. I could see anywhere from like 1.1 to like 1.5, maybe even closer to 2 mil off the bat, but then dipping down a little bit. I mean, how much was this baby Butcher last year at the start of the game? He was only 600, 700K, but then he rose to 1.1 mil and he, he wasn't a new icon last year. So I feel like this guy is going to be somewhere around over a mil for sure, just because of the hype that he has. Right around 1.5 mil for both of these versions, but I think the baby is going to be more expensive. And again, we pray, we pray for that four-star, four-star. All right, last guy, Philip Lom. This one's interesting because just the vast variety of places you're going to be able to play this dude. Left back, right back, CDM with his three different positions. Uh, the physicality stat is the one that sticks out the most to me here. Uh, his right back card kind of reminds me of a Zanetti with less physical. Same thing with the left back. Uh, I don't think those ones are going to get used as much. The right back um, Lam might be used as like a five back starting formation, moved in game for chemistry. Uh, but then the CDM one is going to be the one that I'm curious about. And I think I think Lam's going to be good this year in foot because he's also kind of like the short meta, right? This guy kind of reminds me of like a Conte man. I know he doesn't have as good as stats as what a Conte would um, in terms of like physicality and stuff, but he's going to have so much better passing and dribbling than Conte would. And Conte's 5'6", Lam is 5'7", I believe, or 5'8". So he's going to be just a little terrier in the midfield. As long as he has good stamina, this CDM card is probably going to be pretty interesting to play against in game. He's got around more pace than Conte already, 78 versus 82. It all just depends on how rapid he feels in game and what his player build is like. Um, that CDM card is going to be interesting though. 90 defense is huge. 88 passing is fantastic. 85 dribbling is, is fine for a center defensive mid or for a box to box center mid. I think this card is going to have the most hype, but I don't think that card's honestly going to be that more. If this card goes over a million coins, that'd be crazy. I'm feeling somewhere around like the 700,000 coin range. I don't think any of these LOM cards go over a million in my opinion but again it really all just depends on what they do with the skill moves and the weak foots i guess you would say for a lot of these other strikers for eto for kentana for puskas uh fernando torres and suker a lot of the stuff that we'll see for their price really just depends on the weak foot and skill moves but i like some of these stats man i really think they did a decent job with these stats eto looks pretty good i would have maybe liked a little more dribbling on eto i mean if, if, as i went through and looked back through some of his uh, best cards. FIFA 17, he had a team of the season with 92 dribbling. Uh, FIFA 15, FIFA 16, team of the season with 90, 89 dribbling. So I know, you know, some of these cards are back in the day, FIFA 12. What, what was his dribbling back here? Uh, FIFA 12, 89 rated in form, 87 dribble. So uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like this card is going to be pretty good. Eto is going to be hyped up. Puskas is going to be really good. I think this is the gem of everybody, but he's also going to be the most expensive. And then if I had to pick a sleeper this year as who's going to be OP, 
that maybe somebody that people would not expect. I honestly think that, uh, you know, Fernando Torres being 5'11", I don't know what some of his heading stats were in the past FIFAs, but if heading is actually a thing in uh, this FIFA, I'm pretty sure he has pretty high heading. Uh, yeah, 99 heading for Fernando Torres. This card could be really OP. I don't know if any of you guys used this. Uh, was it this version? No, nah, FIFA 19. I don't know if any of you guys used this SBC version of Fernando Torres. He was great at the end of FIFA 19. So if headers are a thing, Torres could be good. Even Cantona could be pretty good if uh, if headers, you know, he's pretty muscular, pretty strong dude. So I'm really curious to see how they end up doing the weak, weak foots and the skills for all these players. That's going to have a major, major key on what these guys' prices are in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Sorry for the longer video today. There's a lot to talk about, a lot to theorize about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm Nate the Foot Account, and catch you guys later. Peace out.